So I'm doing stupid things like, you know. Can you show us a dance? No. <laughs> I know no. you're coming out with a No. <laughs> you do it naturally. And I'm like enough. trying to sink it. If you show me, I might know. Oh, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Okay. So no. this is why I didn't want to do it. Kaleidoscope. So if you think about it, ballad is not really, it's, it's a hard uh, genre to kind of understand from the Western point of view. Mm. I think why it's gotten more exposure is because definitely in K-dramas, right? And I think that's the, the actually what the catching mm. point or the selling point of ballads are, is that it's a story. You know, it's a storytelling. Of course, every other song may have that. But it's yeah. driven by lyrics, it's driven by melody, it's driven, mm -hmm. and the music supports that. A uh, ballad song is more driven from the heart or the message of it, of saying, okay, like love. And it fits with Korean uh, how they call it, right? The Korean heart or that, uh, the spirit that Koreans carry, uh, the story that we have. Yeah, uh, there's, I think there's a lot of mixed into it, you know? The story that Korea has and the history that we have. Yeah. And if you see these dramas, if it's very driven into like, you know, a lot of tragedy mm. and like those types of misunderstood or, or mm. you know, where that... It's really deep, like the level right. of emotion. Right, exactly. I don't know why, but I do think it used to do with our history. Oh, for like, sure. It hasn't been long since we came out of war. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. only been 20 years or so since it's been super developed and right, right. everyone's living like fast paced, right. first world lives. Yeah. People have gone through a lot, and I think a lot of those kind of emotions seem to stem from that. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's like, I think there's like, you know, that heart of being misunderstood too, and that carries its weight. I think a lot of the weight of it is carried in ballad songs, mm -hmm. you know? It carries in songs like Kim Gwang Seok Sambini or Who's Such a Legend. Um, they, they have these like such mm -hmm. deep lyrics mm -hmm. in this type of tone guitar, like guitar, mm -hmm. acoustic guitar driven I songs. I love that. It's yeah. awesome, right? But, but that's the beauty of ballad, so yeah. I want to dive deep into it. Because this whole thing is to try and show that there's more to Korea than just I mean, I love K-pop, right, but right. it's not just K-pop. There's yeah, lots yeah. of genres and it's really deep. It's a variety of emotions. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so like as going off of that, it's like the the difficulty for me was, oh, I, this expectation of people mm. wanting Tim's 사랑합니다 too. That everyone, would have been big. Yeah, everyone wants to hear that, you know? And of it course, would have been a burden for you, of, in a way. Yeah, definitely. And you know, I don't. Uh, there's that, that thing on my shoulder of saying, oh, is he a one-hit wonder? Or is he going to be this or that? And, and for me, of course, Though my second album did well, it was still this big mountain that I couldn't get over. And this ties into just a lot of the other stuff that I'll probably talk on on, on my own channel, but I mean, mm -hmm. if you will grace me with a little bit of time, like it's just a matter of just trying to figure out who I was. And my identity was confused. I was confused as a singer, as, a, as an artist, as a person. And so I was looking in different areas of music. Uh, and then last year I did this show. Mm -hmm. And then it was crazy. 16 years later, after all that stuff, I do this show and <laughs> for other people it might be kind of just shocking or just why were you even thinking that but I stood on that stage and I sang this song 사랑합니다 mm -hmm. I'm like oh my gosh this song is my song this is me yeah it's and it's okay my soul like yeah and before then I was like oh no like I want to be this I want to be like oh, more like in Korean they say 남자다워 right because they know me for being on uh, this like <laughs> like, what are we doing? like of course like I'm a man but being like more manly like I don't know, whatever that means you know it just kind of stuck with me and so I would like take pictures like, like kind of scrambling or what do you call that scowling Scally. oh yeah, yeah can you give us one of those yeah my, my Zoolander <laughs> my Magnum <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. I, I had my Why weird. Why did you pop? Yeah. Do you ever watch Zoolander? <laughs> yeah. It's like one of my favorite movies. Oh it's like his Magnum. You know? What? Yeah. That's your favorite movie. Yeah, it was one of my favorite movies. It's the best. That it's was. The best. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I had my moments, and then last year it just became, oh, you know what? That's who I am, and uh, let's accept it and embrace mm -hmm. it. And I'm so thankful for it. And mm -hmm. and so yeah, now it's at a point where I'm like totally embracing it. And yeah, I'm gonna continue with ballads. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would love to be one of the other ambassadors. There's so many people, great people who are doing ballads anyways right now. And, you know, taking that torch and just really showing people what ballads really me, uh, are. And I really do feel like it carries so much truth to Korea like, mm -hmm. and the, the, the spirit that it carries. And a lot of people can connect to it, so. I think maybe ballads back then, it spoke of the people's like emotions at the time. Yeah. Maybe as Korea, this is just my hypothesis, yeah. that maybe as Korea started to become very well known mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. There was a lot of hype going on, mm -hmm. so it became about exciting EDM or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. of course, K pop. Yeah, yeah. But now, lately, like all over the world, like going back to sort of vintage, new vintage, right? Yeah, they call it like 
not retro, but like neutral. Mm. Like as the world becomes more and more like artificial around yeah. us, I feel like we're as humans, we're like trying to reach back to the organic things. Yeah, music is not for just for me, but it's for the audience, you yeah. know. And I really hope that the song. In any way, like would just be an encouragement, you know. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people that don't understand the lyrics whatsoever, but then when they hear it, they feel like, oh wow, like I just feel like it, just at peace or like something, you know. And if yeah. that happens, I would be so honored and blessed. We'll What's see. your favorite part of the song? And I know no. you're coming out with a music. No. <laughs> I know what you're trying to, to say. You're trying to ask me to sing it again. I did it naturally. And I'm like enough. trying to sing there. I'm, I'm like, nah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. The, there's a couple, couple parts, parts to this song that I really appreciate. Yeah. There's this one line that says, 사랑이란 말이 너무 흔해 보이면 둘이서 오래 걸어 가보자 라는 얘기가 있어요. And it speaks so much to me too because it's like if the words love or I love you is so uh, used often, if that's too taboo for you maybe, even if that's the right word or so commonly used, uh, I'll just want to say, hey, let's just walk together. Let's, like for a long time, forever, let's just walk together. It's talking about how love is not just this feeling or this idea, but love is a commitment to serve and to be together, right? And to be together as an, I'm sure you know yourself, you know, and I'm sure everyone has experienced this. It's easier said than done, you know? Like to have a friendship, like it takes effort and the best friendships are the ones that get through difficulty together you know and I for one have experienced that myself so mm -hmm. and so that's why it also connects me because I was like the ambassador of I love you with yeah. my song like 사랑합니다 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 so this like lyric a is like redefining of right exactly so now I'm not saying 사랑합니다 in that way I'm saying 사랑이라는 mm -hmm. 말이 너무 흔해 보이며 mm -hmm. 둘이서 오래 걸어가자 네, 가보자 so that lyric to me was it, it stands out and don't ask yeah. me to sing it so, Tim, as an artist and as a singer, how do you want to influence the world through your work? I would love for it to kind of give motivation and strength and encouragement to people who are maybe struggling. And it may not speci speak specifically to their specific situation, but just, you know, you know those things when you don't know why, but it, it kind of gives you a little bit of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 16, almost 17 years later that I'm still somewhat in the in the industry i would love like 10 years later to be saying the same thing like 27 years later so yeah it would be an honor to just continue to do this yeah. i didn't prepare this question but mm -hmm. i felt like asking you about yeah. it so with you sharing about your goals and how you want mm -hmm. to affect the world mm -hmm. through your work would you say that what you're doing mm -hmm. is sort of grounded in your faith and your beliefs oh yeah for sure i mean Especially these days, it's really hard to talk about faith because mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of stigma kind of latched onto those words. Uh, but to me, I think of it very simply. It's like, it's just who I am. Like, it's like eating anything that you really, really enjoy. Like, I mm -hmm. eat Korean car barbecue and anybody comes to Korea, I'm like, you gotta try Korean barbecue. It's the best, right? Like, just like that. It's like, I've, I've experienced something in my life that's given me hope and strength when I've gone through a lot of hard and difficult times. And because it was so good and encouraging, I just want to share that with people to say, hey, like, mm. uh, life, it does suck. Life, there are difficult times and there are good times. But there's a constant that kind of, that will give you the hope and the strength mm -hmm. to live for something more. That was, I guess, that revelation for me and that experience to me is what drives me and my music and who I am and why I'm still doing what I'm doing. If, if it wasn't for that, honestly, you know, and to be, like I've shared this maybe a couple times on different platforms, but yeah, it's like the idea of suicide, the idea of killing myself was very, it was very real. But if it wasn't for my faith and that experience, I would not be here I wouldn't be here to be able to share these things. And so, yeah, I mean, to be cautious and and very, uh, what's the word, respectful in how I share my faith, but at the same time, as genuine as it can be, is that yeah. it's everything that I am, and I'm fighting to continue to be like more genuine and authentic in that, in that, yeah, with that, Your life yeah. Story. With that yeah. faith being the main thing that's holding it together, I want to be authentic. And I'm learning, I'm still learning, you know? I'm still learning a lot. That's incredible. Yes. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, I mean, I hope, you know, uh, I'm just trying to be cautious, you know, because I know some people could be like, I don't want anyone to feel forced or hurt by anything. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. That 
it's really important because life is really not just happy-go-lucky as the media can portray. Oh yeah. So that kind of message is actually kind of hard to find. It's the end of the night. <laughs> and honestly, that's what it kind of means for me too. Though. Yeah. It's like the end of that night and I hope mm. it's the end of the night. Like it gives encouragement to the people who feel like it's so dark mm. right now. But they say the darker it is, for the dawn is where the night is the darkest, right? So mm. like there's going to be a new season. There's a new season and there's always hope. So. Um, I kind of speak that to myself, and as I am daring myself to have hope again, it's like I really want to encourage people to hope again. Mm. You know, it's because right now, wow, the world is going crazy. You know, right. so many things going on. Honestly, I am horrible with social media. I actually don't really enjoy it either. Yeah, it's it's quite mm. hard. Um, but because of this this communication with my fans, I really yeah. wanted to try. Mm. And it's taken a long time, but now I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, okay, so that's they can be, find you on Instagram. Right, so Instagram or Facebook, Twitter, I'm still going to start, like, I've been starting and YouTube, of course, will be the main uh, platforms for me to more co uh, connect with. And so, yeah, okay. it's, it's a new journey. So go check out his channel, guys. Yeah. I will link a few guys down in the description bar below. I'm like doing this because I've seen a lot of people do that on YouTube. <laughs> there is one thing I'm curious about because mm. for someone who's performed so much, yeah. I'm always curious, is there like one special moment that really stands out from your entire career? Maybe a special concert, like a happening? There was this one time I had like this sogeting. <laughs> what do you call that in English? Um... Like a blind date? Yep. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. and this is before I came out, right? I just met her and then we were just talking. She knows that I was trying to come out. I'm, I was preparing to come out and stuff. So she takes me to Nocheonggukjang, which is like um, the outside uh, stadium in mm -hmm. Yonsei. She's like, oh, check out this place. It's an awesome place to perform, right? Mm -hmm. And it's big. It seats like uh, thousands of people. And uh, we go there and stand on the stage. And, and she was like, oh, imagine. Like, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And so on, when I did that MTV Tim's World shoot, I came back to that place talking about this story and then on mm. Tim's World I was like yeah and then the producer was like hey what would you do if you were on stage like if you when you come out as a singer like, oh you know I don't know I'll probably say I love you I love you I love you I love you like and I was just kind of saying these things right fast forward about two years later mm -hmm. I did this concert and it just so happens I ended up doing it at the Yonsei wow. Mutual Mutual, right so it was you know kind of dream coming to life kind of thing mm. in front of thousands of people and wow. like, you know, coming up the lift and then all of a sudden the, the concert starts. And then, mind you, I forgot about all this, okay? I forgot about this whole interview that I did with MTV. And so um, I'm doing this song and this one song that I covered, which is uh, Deuce's Yoramane uh, song, okay? Um, do you know that song? You don't know that? Wow, you're young. What's that? It's a really famous summer song in Korea, okay? It's really f famous, okay? okay. Uh, for those Korean people, they know it, okay? But, um, so I covered that song. So I did the dance and all that stuff, whatever, right? There. But there's a song called, it, at one point, there's this vamp. And it goes, oh, 난 너를 사랑해, 난 너를 사랑해, right? So literally that day, I wasn't playing, it wasn't practice, but I was like, oh yeah, 난 너를 사랑해, 난 너를 사랑해. I'm like, and I started vamping it and started repeating wow. it and singing to everyone in every corner. Didn't think about it. That's crazy. The concert was done. One of my fans found the clip from oh MTV gosh. Tim's World and showed the clip and then was talking about how I ended up doing that. I had no idea. Like, I totally forgot about that, that wow. interview. But I was literally by God's, I really believe by God's grace, like he kind of mm. let it come to f fruition, fruition where th something that I wanted deep in my heart, yeah. whether I was worthy or not, like all of a sudden, like I didn't even remember it and I did it and my dream literally came to life. What, did you, what would you do? I'll say, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I ended up doing it. Mm. Like, it was amazing. So like, it was like goosebumps and even I get goosebumps now thinking about yeah. it. So that time was really, really amazing. It says that God gives you the desires of your heart. It's, it's crazy, mm. it's crazy. And I don't I'm like... a strong believer yeah. of that. I don't want to talk about faith as much, but it's hard not to talk about faith when I talk about my life. Mm. But yeah, when it comes to a very inspirational or like really meaningful time would be that. Mm -hmm. One funny time would be when I'm like at a concert and I'm like dancing and like, I don't usually dance. I only dance for the concert so that <laughs> Yeah, I've never really fans, seen you dancing. Yeah, so that my fans will enjoy it. So I'm doing mm. stupid things like, you know... Can you show us a dance? No. <laughs> I mean, and that's why people were... Um, like, I'm I don't know if you know, that's why I kind of got more popular was that oh. I did a variety show at that time called 천생연분, okay? There's dance a dance time. Oh yeah, we danced all the time. 
So like, and I can see you doing like old school dancing, like yeah, like I, I just do like a bakchu, bakchu, as they call oh, it, like okay. just like yeah. um, this kind of random dancing, because you know I'm not a I'm not a dancer. Like you have seven doing his like you know all this stuff and his seven like Nike like b boy thing and uh -huh. P's like doing his like pop lock. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, what am I gonna do? You know. So all I can do is like, oh, you know what? I got. I'm just gonna do the one dance that I know, or it was really popular in the states. And do you know the Carlton dance? You can. If you show me, I might know. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of like this. <laughs> well, I don't really do it that well. But... Oh my god! You know this dance? <laughs> you know this dance? Okay, so on first I only know it from memes, though. What? <laughs> okay. Do you not in? Do you not know in <laughs> West Philadelphia? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So no. This is why. I didn't want to do it. You know, it, Fresh Prince yeah. of Bel Air. Oh yeah. Okay, so yep, Will yep. Smith. That's where he got really, really popular. Okay, of course, yeah. he was a singer before that, but uh, yeah, I've seen it from his name. Yes, Philadelphia, born and raised. That's okay. where I'm from. You did so that. Philadelphia has this thing. You know, I have that pride for Philadelphia. That was the dance I thought of. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I gotta do that. So I did that, and that's kind of what. One hit wonder. It came out, and it kind of, it kind of did really well. And that time went viral. Well, you know, and that kind of took me to that next realm, and so that's why on when I do these concerts, I do these dances, like do this weird dancing. You know, mm -hmm. I did like the lawnmower dance, on the sprinkler dance, like these weird dances and stuff yeah. like that. So this one time I was doing this dance, and you know, for some reason, like I'm doing this kind of stuff, like this like like kind of movement, and then my fans were like looking at me like, oh, opa, opa. I mean, oh, they love me, they love it. All right, I <laughs> keep doing it, right? And they're like, opa, your chakuyoro is so chakuyoro, oh. which means like your zipper is open, and I'm spreading my legs, mind you, like this. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh! And that's when they were saying "oppa." <laughs> yeah, they weren't like they were. I thought they were saying it. So Good thing it wasn't the time when everyone had their phones. Yes, because it, <laughs> it would be like, forever. Yes, you gotta be careful, okay. you know. So yeah, that would be another time where I kind of had a memorable time, but kind of embarrassing. Thanks yeah. for sharing your yeah. embarrassing moments. Yes. Your deep moments. Yes. Your meaningful moments with yes. us. Yes. So yeah, there's as you can see, there's a lot of different aspects to who you are. Mm -hmm. What can people expect to see on your channel? Um, yeah, you know, I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. Um, at this point, because it's the one, it's the platform where I can really be more intimate with my fans. That's mm -hmm. kind of what I want to show. Definitely the music side of things, like with singing and what have you. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, just talking. And one thing that you shared earlier is I do love, like to talk, I guess, or to share life. And so I, I'm probably going to do some videos, just kind of sharing my thoughts and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And you have I, some secret hobbies too, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, not secret. I, I love working out. I do some. Um, you know, I just I've been going to the gym for a while now, and it may not look like it now. I don't know. I haven't worked out in four days. I'm like really sad. But um, yeah, I work out a lot. Okay. So working out. I mean, who knows? I'll maybe share some workout at a gym that's like a lot of famous people go to. And so I'm sure you guys would all want to see it, but I don't know if I can show it. But like people like Song Joong Ki or Kim Jong Kook or oh like Ki or EXO, um, Super Junior, Son Yeon Shin, like all these people come to our gym and stuff. So it's like a private like gym and stuff like that. Fitness tips. That uh, maybe, maybe. Do. I mean, little things, just lifestyle too. Like, yeah. like vlog, is that what they call it? Mm -hmm. Just living life, blogging kind of stuff. Okay, so we're all looking forward to seeing all those videos and I will not make you sing your new single <laughs> here. <laughs> but definitely I'll link it at the end of this video or at the bottom if you guys want to see. Go support everything that Tim is doing and all of his projects. Thank you. As you can see, he's a really genuine and kind person, but wow. also he's very talented, so. Do you have any no. like final words you'd like to say? Yeah, I mean, for all those the audience members out there, it's, it's just a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on your channel. Um, it's seriously an honor to be here and even to share in what, you're, what, what you've been doing is such a blessing. And, uh, oh, it's an honor to have you. Yeah, and I hope, yeah, pump good, uh, end of the night. Uh, the song is an encouragement to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm just hoping to have more time to just spend with you guys. So definitely look out for more content. I would love your support. 어, 여러분 정말 어, 많은 관심과 사랑을 부탁드리겠습니다. 이, 앞으로 유튜브 통해서도 어, 그리고 유튜브만 아니고 모든 소셜 SNS 통해서 여러분께 많은 컨텐츠를 준비할 테니까요. 기대해 주시고 많은 예, 사랑을 부탁드리겠습니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. That wraps up today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Kaleidoscope. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.